The Magic of I Am, written and published by Engas Life. The impact of the word I am should not be underestimated. What comes after those two straightforward yet impactful words has the power to shape our reality and manifest as self-fulfilling prophecies. When we express phrases like I am strong, I am awesome, I am needed, or I'm loved, we are affirming our inherent value and capabilities. This book will guide you on a journey of self-empowerment using positive I am statements. We will explore four key lessons that focus on strengths, self-concept, contribution, and relationships. By the end, you'll feel more confident and equipped with tools to manifest the reality you want using I am words. The I am holds immense power as it confirms our deep connection to the energy of the universe and the essence of life. This place is where everything began and the foundation for everything that exists. By tapping into the power of I am, we can access the vast well of universal intelligence and potential. We cease following predetermined scripts and reclaim control over our lives. This book delves into the mysteries concealed within the phrase I am. Let's work together to improve our self-talk, envision larger aspirations, and create lives filled with freedom, joy, and purpose. Lesson 1. I am means you are God. The phrase I am holds immense power when spoken. On the surface, it seems like a straightforward declaration of presence. I am here. However, upon further exploration, we discover a profound truth. Uttering the phrase I am is equivalent to acknowledging your divine essence. It means that you are in alignment with God or universal consciousness. This meaning has a long history that goes back thousands of years. In the biblical scripture, when Moses inquired about God's name, the response is given as I am who I am. This indicates that the essence of the divine is rooted in pure existence, the fundamental awareness of I am, from which all life originates. Jesus later echoed the same phrase, saying, I and the Father are one. Your understanding of I am reflects a deep connection with the ultimate source. According to quantum physics, consciousness comes before material reality, which is consistent with conventional wisdom. Claiming I am allows you to harness the power of consciousness, which is the foundation of everything we perceive and encounter. You embody the manifestation of the observer effect. The statements you make about yourself have a profound impact on shaping your reality. Therefore, I am serves as the starting point to shape your personal experience. Looking to improve your health, state I am healing. Looking to achieve financial abundance, repeat the affirmation, I am wealth. By using I am statements, you have the power to shape your own destiny through the manipulation of energy fields. This is actually how magicians of all ages were able to perform incredible feats, by harnessing their own inherent divine authority, rather than relying on external forces. Who am I? You are the essence of divine existence, currently experiencing life in human form. You possess a divine essence, inhabiting a mortal form, yet maintaining control through the power of your true self. It is the ultimate name or label surpassing all others. By embracing and fully embodying it, you can access the limitless power of your authentic self, you are the eternal presence that transcends time. Unlock the vast possibilities that lie beyond these two words. The phrase I am is a simple statement that confirms one's existence. When we say I am, we are referring to a state of conscious awareness of existence. This understanding of oneself, regardless of its size or limitations, is actually a reflection of the universal consciousness the all-encompassing intelligence that is responsible for everything in existence. Take a closer look at your experience when you say, I am. You are expressing your own personal viewpoint, your distinct way of seeing things. However, 
What is the source of this perspective? It emerges from the fundamental realm of universal consciousness. The vast array of potentials and opportunities that exist in the universe shape your perspective. The awareness you refer to as I is essentially a dynamic manifestation of cosmic energy taking on temporary form. It only differs in its appearance. Think about the wave that emerges from the ocean. Even though we label it and observe its form, it remains interconnected with the ocean. The wave's existence is intricately tied to the eternal essence of the ocean, constantly transmitting its boundless energy. Our experience of I am encompasses both individuation and unity at the same time. We all mirror the collective consciousness as it gazes upon itself. This unified field is the source from which mind, self, and life itself and life itself emerge. This is what sages, mystics, and philosophers refer to when they talk about realizing oneness. The understanding of how consciousness can temporarily fragment from a timeless, eternal, and limitless unity as we delve deeper into our inner selves, removing superficial layers, we discover the presence of consciousness gazing back at us. When you acknowledge your existence through I statements, it's important to remember that there is a universal consciousness that brings the entire cosmos into existence. By recognizing this unity, we go beyond our limited selves and uncover the divine self that exists within everything. Lesson 2. I am strong. Having a peaceful mindset is what gives us inner strength and resilience, no matter what's happening around us. By stating, I am strong, I assert that nothing and no one can disturb my inner peace. I find a sense of calm in connecting with my inner self, which remains constant and everlasting. Regardless of my changing roles, possessions, and physical body, my core essence remains steadfastly grounded in existence. I exist as conscious energy, currently experiencing life in human form. The energy within me, my true self, remains calm and unaffected by the fluctuations of the world. By finding a sense of inner peace, I am able to stay grounded during life's challenges. Challenges will persist. However, there is no need for them to invade my personal space. This temple is dedicated to the practice of stillness achieved through meditation, prayer, and mindfulness. No one is allowed to enter that sacred inner sanctum without my consent under any circumstances. I find solace in tranquility, observing without disturbance, akin to a serene lake embracing countless ripples while maintaining its inherent calmness. I take action when it is necessary, demonstrating both firmness and empathy. However, I don't need anyone's approval to feel complete. I am immune to any form of failure or betrayal. I understand that my self-worth is derived from within. I am confident because I am firmly rooted in the timeless truth of my identity. Others can feel the subtle, welcoming energy that radiates from me. They can freely express themselves without fear of being judged. I approach my relationships with a sense of calm acceptance rather than feeling anxious and tense. I strive to establish environments where honesty and closeness can flourish. Experience the profound impact of embracing inner peace. Life takes on meaning and purpose as it unfolds from that space. I find comfort in the knowledge that I am forever embraced within the essence of life. Physical prowess or the ability to control emotions are not indicators of real strength. Actually, a truly powerful form of strength is one that embraces vulnerability instead of shying away from it. The true measure of strength becomes clear when we consider the qualities of courage, resilience, and wise responsiveness. Indeed, maintaining good physical health is essential for overall well-being and a sense of empowerment. However, there were certain individuals throughout history who possessed bodies that were fragile, yet their spirits remained unyielding. Examples of such influential figures include Franklin Roosevelt, Gandhi, and Stephen Hawking. True transformation arises from a deep sense of personal determination. When the foundations erode, 
even the mightiest build crumbles. True strength stems from a deep connection with an inner place that remains unaffected by external forces. Similarly, embracing emotions such as grief, sadness, heartbreak, or fear does not indicate any form of weakness. Suppressing or numbing emotions takes a toll on our energy and only prolongs the inevitable. On the other hand, having the ability to wholeheartedly embrace sadness when it naturally comes shows strength and resilience. Crying is a way to open ourselves up and be vulnerable to the power of life. Vulnerability is not weakness. It is an act of courage that the soul recognizes. The core of strength lies in being adaptable, not inflexible. The capacity to adapt without shattering, to experience without retreating. The strong and resilient trees endure even the harshest storms by establishing deep roots, allowing their branches to gracefully sway with the wind. They have a remarkable ability to endure. Strong hearts have the capacity to embrace a wide range of emotions. They stay focused within, navigate through emotional ups and downs, and consistently find their way back to calmness. Being truly strong involves skillfully responding to each moment, instead of blindly reacting. It refers to the ability to remain calm and composed in the face of fears or self-doubts. Strength lies in the ability to love deeply, give fully, and serve others with compassion. Even in the face of heartbreaks and betrayals, people who are wise and well-connected do not let the mistakes or viewpoints of others easily influence them. They stay committed to their chosen path. Lesson 3. I am awesome. Stating I am awesome is a confident expression of self-approval and inner enthusiasm. It means embracing and appreciating one's value and unique talents without feeling ashamed or comparing oneself to others. Embracing your true self is where true greatness begins. Many times, society teaches us to look for validation from external sources such as material possessions, compliments from others, or the accumulation of achievements as a way to demonstrate our worth. However, True sustainability and awesomeness stem from within. It means being at ease with yourself, regardless of any accolades or achievements. There is a certain beauty in being able to look at ourselves and appreciate the wonderful combination of our unique qualities, talents, quirks, and strengths. It conveys the message that I don't need to apologize for being myself and taking up space. I have the freedom to radiate confidently from my true self, to move through life with a sense of assurance and vitality. As you gain more confidence, you'll naturally attract people and opportunities. Being confident and comfortable with oneself is highly appealing. When you embrace a positive mindset instead of being overly critical of yourself, it creates an inviting atmosphere that others are drawn to. Expressing I am awesome is a way to embrace and showcase your unique quirks and genuine self. You allow yourself room for growth by embracing the opportunity to learn from your mistakes rather than being overly critical of yourself. It involves injecting enthusiasm and a sense of fun into all of your endeavors in a unique and personal manner. Your unique and personal manner, your unique brand of awesomeness is truly captivating. Embracing this requires a change in mindset, shifting from scarcity to abundance. It's about recognizing the inherent talents that are always present around you. It means recognizing them with a sense of awe and curiosity, like a child. Embracing the journey is all about persevering. Even when the path becomes challenging, you have faith in the unfolding of meaning and continue to share your gifts without being attached to the outcomes. I am confident in my ability to let my inner light guide my path. I strive to foster compassion for myself and others as we navigate this shared human experience. I act with sincerity and bravery, fully aware that my contributions hold significance solely because they are my own. We all possess a profound and authentic greatness that lies beneath our surface insecurities and illusions. 
I always uphold this truth wherever I go. Anyone can achieve awesomeness. It's not something exclusive or hard to grasp. Recognizing the incredible array of gifts, talents, and opportunities available to us in this era is a true testament to awesomeness. As I view the world with a mindset of empowerment, I come to understand that there are numerous ways for me to make a meaningful impact in the present moment. I am available to offer my time and skills to assist those in need within my community. I am capable of utilizing my resources to contribute to causes that bring about positive change. I have the ability to create various forms of art, stories, songs, or media that have the power to inspire and bring healing. I can make a difference by engaging in activism, protest, and advocacy. When I believe it is necessary to combat injustice, I have the ability to guide and support the upcoming generation through teaching and mentoring. I am willing to utilize my expertise to improve my local community. Running for local office is a great way to make a difference in policy. Making, I have the ability to create technologies that address issues and propel society forward. I can easily be fully present with someone in their time of pain or loneliness. I can make a significant impact with my attention and care. I have the ability to transform my struggles into a meaningful narrative, using my experiences to create art that brings comfort to others. I have the ability to forgive, mend divisions, and demonstrate reconciliation in situations of conflict. I can take on the responsibility of safeguarding the planet's ecosystems. I am constantly exploring ways to uplift my community and make a lasting impact. Understanding the power I possess to make a positive impact on the world is truly incredible. Beginning from my current position, I can make progress by taking straightforward and consistent steps, driven by a sense of concern. Anyone can start making small changes that have the potential to create a big impact on a global scale. I find great joy in the simple beauty of being awake and alive in this intricate world. All I have to do is observe the increasing needs around me and use my talents and passions to serve others. When we approach life with a sense of empowerment and choose to make a positive impact in any way, we tap into our true greatness. Lesson 4. I am needed. Declaring I am needed is a powerful way to express one's sense of purpose. I understand the importance of my role in life's grand drama, and the world would be incomplete without the full expression of my gifts. This statement emphasizes the individual's ability to make a positive impact on our shared well-being by responding to the call. Being needed doesn't require worldwide recognition or status. Using one's innate talents to serve one's immediate surroundings is both crucial and humble. We play a crucial and humble. We play a crucial role in society by promoting kindness and fostering understanding in our relationships and communities. Creating meaningful change is possible when we actively invest in improving the lives of our loved ones, neighbors, and colleagues. Embracing responsibility as global citizens and acting locally with care and wisdom is what it means to say, I am needed. It involves utilizing one's individual perspective to tackle common issues safeguarding marginalized groups and nurturing future generations to promote human dignity. Being needed also involves utilizing our democratic citizenship to steer our societies towards equality and justice through activism, creativity, and moral courage. Understanding that there are alternative ways to approach life beyond violence, cynicism, or exploitation is the first step towards realizing our own significance. It focuses on embracing solutions that promote healing instead of causing harm. Understanding that every small act of love has a profound impact on our interconnected world. Something as small as a smile, a listening ear, or a kind gesture has the power to change someone's outlook from despair to hope. Expressing the sentiment I am needed reminds us of the fundamental human endeavor to care for one another and our world with compassion. 
It motivates us to continue working hard and dedicating ourselves to the positive change we want to make. Regardless of whether we see the results, regardless of whether we see the results, when we practice empathy, we join in with a cherished, age-old song of hope. In that vibration, we experience a sense of unity that transcends all divisions, a strong connection of shared desires. Love is a reciprocal experience. And through that interaction, the true worth of our existence becomes evident. Every person's life follows a cyclical and seasonal pattern, both internally and externally. There are moments when it may appear that we lack something to offer and have no direction, but this feeling of insignificance is often a result of our narrow viewpoint. However, when it comes to the cosmic clock, our timing must be absolutely perfect. It's like when we explore desert passages where our inner voice is quiet and our ambitions have faded away. This also works. Currently, we embrace the moonlight, collecting resources in silence to unveil at the right time. The potential of the soul is heightened during the nighttime. Our dreams begin to heal from the wastefulness of the day. Even in the face of despair, roots find strength in the depths. And then, just like a seed waiting to sprout, something stirs within us, giving us the strength to overcome the darkness and move towards the light. The message is clear. Don't lose hope. Every life has value and purpose. The pause between movements is a silent gathering leading to the eventual song. Have faith in the natural cycles. Embrace patience as we navigate life's journey. Find joy in the face of adversity as opportunities shift and aspirations drift away. There is something that appears on the horizon when we believe in the power of perfect timing. Through the process of waiting, our wounds mature into wisdom. Our own experiences of pain can help us guide others through their difficult times and towards brighter days. Every person experiences the ebb and flow of life, with periods of growth and retreat, just like the Earth's circular path. We all desire passion and purpose in our lives. However, meaning is often hidden until the passage of time gradually reveals it. Looking for outside help to determine internal timing will always lead to frustration. We need to practice patience and have faith in the potential for goodness that lies within us. Embrace tranquility when necessary and take decisive steps when prompted. Understand this. We are always necessary and perfectly positioned on our destined path from the moment we come into existence, regardless of whether we fully comprehend the bigger picture. Our experience is tailored to fit seamlessly into the stream. Stay committed even when the story becomes less interesting. Just around the corner you'll find the important part you play in the upcoming scene. Seeds will eventually crack. Lesson 5 I am loved. Being loved in this universal way means being embraced by the essence of existence itself. Nourished by the earth we originate from and sustained by the cosmic energy that flows through every breath and heartbeat. It means feeling secure enough to fully express oneself in the embrace of the vast cosmos. We achieve this by returning to the present moment, awakening from the illusions of narratives and convictions that make us feel disconnected or inadequate at our core. By stating, I am loved, I acknowledge the presence of grace that envelops me in this physical form, providing comfort through my senses. I sense a gentle grace flowing within me, granting me a clear perception and expanding my ability to experience awe and vulnerability. I feel embraced forever as I connect with this flowing essence of life. The love that creates the stars, our hearts, and our aspirations. I feel loved because there is a beautiful intelligence that intricately weaves together the quantum fabric, creating a tapestry that is expressed through the dance of particles, fields, and flesh that I witness. Every aspect of existence is encompassed within its grasp. We experience the true essence of this profound awareness, which allows us to perceive and create meaning in every moment. 
When we fully grasp the way intimacy permeates every aspect of our lives, we come to realize that the love we yearn for is not something to be achieved, but rather something inherent to our very being. We emerge from a state of trance and find ourselves embraced by the arms of reality. Its never-ending flow nourishes us, and we are a part of every form it takes. Residing here means living eternally in the heart of the divine. The concept of I am loved refers to the understanding that we are cherished and protected by a powerful force that is always with us, supporting us in every moment of our existence. By embracing this truth, we embark on a path towards unity, letting go of fearful illusions and awakening as vessels of the sacred whole, expressing ourselves through our individual forms. Here, one can discover a haven of tranquility, endless fascination, and a sense of purpose that spans across countless lifetimes. Many times, we find ourselves caught in tiring patterns as we strive to earn love by constantly pleasing others, concealing parts of who we are, or pursuing shallow measures of value. However, the most sustainable way to experience love comes from doing inner work, accepting and embracing our true selves and sharing love from a place of authenticity. This involves analyzing the ways in which we twist ourselves in order to be accepted. We contemplate the times when we compress aspects of our being to conform to limited expectations. It's interesting how we often tie our self-worth to external factors like looks, social standing, and accomplishments rather than focusing on our inner qualities. We observe how the fear of being judged hinders complete self-expression. As we become more aware of these patterns, we can intentionally let go of what no longer benefits us. We embrace the individual expression of our inner selves, the unconventional, the mysterious, the magnificent, without seeking approval from others. We nurture ourselves with the same patience and care we would give to a cherished child taking their first steps. Every little act of bravery helps build confidence in oneself. By fully embracing ourselves, we establish a strong and unwavering foundation. We firmly believe in our own completeness, and no one can sway us from this conviction. Our inner light shines brightly, diminishing the impact of their projections. We create stronger connections by taking control of our own worth, instead of relying on others to define it for us. By embracing self-love wholeheartedly, we can change our perspective on our perceived imperfections. We now welcome shadows within us as opportunities for personal development. We can learn from our mistakes instead of beating ourselves up over them. We take care of our own wounds with compassion, allowing them to heal. We extend our support to others, embracing their imperfect and evolving nature. Our relationships become more spacious, allowing for authenticity and interdependence rather than anxious people. Pleasing. We acquire the valuable skill of establishing boundaries to ensure that our inner light remains unaffected by external negativity. We respect the decision to distance ourselves from individuals who resist personal development. By embracing self-love completely, I can serve as a guiding light to assist others in rediscovering and embracing their own completeness. I am aware that nobody has ever determined our value. It was always a matter of uncovering our true selves and finding our way back to the love that has always been within us. Lesson 6. I am enough. Saying I am enough involves recognizing that my true value and sense of wholeness come from within rather than from external achievements or goals. I realize that seeking validation from others and constantly questioning myself are merely distractions from the knowledge and wisdom I already possess. I don't have to search for love, but rather discover what has always been there. Being enough involves firmly embracing the essence of who I am, acknowledging its significance and stability, providing comfort amidst any feelings of uncertainty. I find solace in the sense of belonging as my consciousness delves deep to connect with my eternal self. 
I no longer feel the need to frantically seek validation through achievements. Discover the profound sense of completeness that lies within the tranquility of stillness. I am complete because the very core of my being remains unchanged from the moment I first entered the world. Embracing the wonder of existence, this timeless seat allows perception to flourish without the need for extensive experience. The passage of time by itself cannot increase my share of being. Being sufficient also reminds me of the minimalist beauty of existence, the peculiar wonder that something exists rather than nothing. Understanding these words brings a sense of clarity and appreciation, washing away any lingering feelings of lack. All phenomena are suffused with enoughness due to their remarkable nature. Thus, to acknowledge my sufficiency requires humbling myself before the abundance that sustains me in every moment. I refocus my attention on the ease of existence instead of constantly striving for progress through constant action. I marvel at the presence of abundance in this place, a humble awe that is experienced by both the sparrow and the stone. I am sufficient because existence always extends its invitation to engage just as I am. I find fulfillment in the simple joy of living, without the need to conform to any ideal. I come to realize that I have always benefited from the diversity and richness of life. Appreciating its earthly essence and embracing my own uniqueness within the vast universe of existence. When I have a clear understanding of my own worth, I no longer feel the need to seek validation from fleeting achievements or the approval of others. I have complete faith in my intuition to guide me towards fulfilling work and relationships that allow me to be my authentic self and flourish. Enoughness involves. Breaking free from the constraints of rigid roles and fear-based cultures, I have the power to challenge norms and pave my own path, staying true to my principles. When I find certainty in the uniqueness of my gifts, the raised eyebrows of others lose their sting. Even if the paths I create don't succeed or my dreams don't come true in my lifetime. The impact of my genuine self may still inspire future generations. To have a significant impact on society and future generations, it is important to embody the change I want to see. Constructs such as greed, exploitation, and dominance continue to exist as long as we perceive ourselves as separate individuals competing for limited resources, love, or security. However. Embracing a sense of enoughness leads to the awakening of unity consciousness. I am prepared to create systems that prioritize compassion instead of fear or suppression. Once I recognize the illusion of scarcity or division, I am empowered to act with courage and wisdom, focusing on results rather than force, thanks to my belief in our shared belonging. Every little action, guided by thoughtful, interconnected principles. Moves humanity closer to meaningful change. Understanding and embracing enoughness allows us to break free from societal expectations and express ourselves without hesitation. When individuals with a shared sense of inspiration come together, remarkable energy is cultivated on our planet. Embrace a mindset of radical enoughness and witness the magic of dreams coming true. Lesson seven. I am healed. The stories, labels, and presumptions we attach to life frequently skew our perception of it. Some of these act like viruses that distort our perspective, making us see threats to ourselves that don't actually exist. Healing involves identifying and improving negative patterns while establishing a strong protective barrier for a healthier mindset. A key aspect of this healing process involves developing the ability to distinguish between unwavering awareness and the temporary drama it reveals. We specialize in helping individuals understand the unchanging context of awareness, where emotions, thoughts, and sensations come and go, like passing weather. Through the practice of meditation, we can achieve a state of calm and clarity that allows us to gain valuable insights into our thoughts and stories. Thoughts are seen as mere thoughts, 
like ripples across a calm lake, rather than being considered as truth or part of one's identity. By separating our awareness from its temporary projections, we can find a valuable neutral space between stimulus and response. When faced with intense emotions, we can tap into witness consciousness to avoid impulsive reactions. We prioritize introspection before making decisions, relying on our intuition to guide us. We take on the role of a compassionate guardian for neglected parts of ourselves that are in need of attention. Declaring I am healed involves consistently reconnecting with the source of inner peace, wisdom, and resilience that is accessible whenever we take a moment to be present. It's about recognizing that we are more than just emotional beings, but rather individuals who can find strength and clarity in challenging situations. We can find healing by actively engaging with the natural ebb and flow of life rather than resisting the inherent impermanence of reality. We find healing through the practice of returning to a state of stillness. This allows us to develop a deep understanding of our unbreakable essence in the present moment, where we already feel complete. I feel healed because I understand that despite the pains and traumas that have affected my past, and regardless of the storms that may toss my boat, the sun always emerges again. The cracks and bruises again? The cracks and bruises I've experienced on my journey have turned out to be blessings in disguise. They have allowed me to see the sacred light beyond the clouds of my emotions. During times of exhaustion, I prioritize creating space for rejuvenation. I apply oils to my temple, decorate it with praise, and ensure it gets plenty of rest to rejuvenate important processes. When my thoughts become tangled, I make a conscious effort to untangle them with patience and compassion, treating myself like a supportive friend. And even my broken heart finds solace when I raise my hands to the sky, absorbing the soothing light of the stars and rejuvenating my innocence with each perfect moment. Existence always offers its abundance to those in need. When the cup runs dry, it's only because I've turned my gaze away from the ever-present source of nourishment. Whether in sickness or health, gain or loss, betrayal or breakthrough, no condition remains permanent when I reside at the center of opposing forces. Here, I find balance and peace. Myself, as I am able to navigate the ever-changing aspects of life and remain grounded in the calmness at its center. Living always involves cycles, the constant ebb and flow of expansion and return. As the spinning points rotate, they reflect a sense of emptiness, but from the quiet center emerges a constant renewal. The only thing I lack is the ability to see beyond one small piece and recognize the bigger picture that reflects my true self. Because I live in the present and am free from any outside influences, I am always whole and unaffected by circumstances. I find pleasure in exploring old photo albums in the guest bedroom from the past, taking my time to savor each moment. I clean the front parlor in anticipation of unexpected guests who may arrive on any pleasant evening. Upstairs in my room, I find solace and contentment in the beautiful view that greets me every morning. Lesson 8 I am beautiful and handsome. The symmetry of features or societal standards of attractiveness do not define beauty. I believe that true beauty emanates from within, illuminating our existence and making us uniquely and beautifully human. Declaring I am beautiful or handsome allows me to fully embrace my own humanity. I appreciate and embrace all the different aspects that make up my unique personality including both the darker and brighter sides. I don't leave anything behind as I embark on this journey towards becoming whole. I appreciate the beauty of allowing myself to experience sadness and embracing my sensitivity. My experiences, both successes and failures, have shaped me and taught me valuable lessons that have led me on exciting journeys. I find great pleasure in the unfolding of my individuality as each layer reveals more about who I am. 
I exude beauty when my eyes sparkle with passion and my creativity takes hold of a humble rented room. I bring forth beauty by expressing myself freely and passionately and advocating for causes that give purpose to my life. I am filled with beauty as I plant seeds of hope and overcome fears with fierce love. I embrace a strong sense of compassion as a shield against conformity. I deeply appreciate the diverse forms of beauty that exist in the world and believe they should be cherished and protected. I radiate beauty by embracing my physicality and cherishing the multitude of experiences it enables me to have. Reality envelops me through this physical form. I ensure that my container is filled with care, allowing it to radiate more light. I share a fond wink with my reflection as we navigate life side by side. I find beauty in the pursuit of knowledge and the exploration of life's mysteries. I am constantly questioning, learning, and embracing the boundless wonders that surround me. I am capable of finding light even in the darkest times, constantly fueling my inner fire towards any glimmer of hope, no matter how faint. I am beautiful, worthy, and real, simply because I am alive and have the ability to pursue purpose and experience as a human being. Nobody can enhance or change the inherent beauty of who I am. Deep within my being, there is a profound beauty that yearns to be fully expressed. This beauty is not something that can be earned or given. It emerges from the depths of my inner being, the essence of my true self, free from narratives and categorizations. By embracing the inner beauty that resides within me, I allow it to radiate through every aspect of my being and actions. Many times, we end up altering our appearance in pursuit of societal beauty standards, which can harm our natural radiance. We often focus on conforming to an idealized image instead of embracing the beauty that shines through each person's unique story. We strive to conceal any aspects that may be considered unattractive as we work to restore the beauty that is within reach. However, when I fully embrace both the shadow and light aspects of myself, it leads to a sense of self-acceptance. I request permission to comfortably inhabit my body and express my personality. I embrace my unique beauty marks. Those charming details that weave through my personality like intricate embroidery. I discover beauty not as a goal to attain, but as the genuine expression of my true self. When I recognize and appreciate all aspects of myself, it sparks inspiration. I take creative action because I have a strong desire for beauty. I bring to light hidden passions, brushing off dreams that were once left behind. I appreciate following my instincts to discover the right path that aligns with my true self. I stopped attempting to mold my beauty to fit the preferences of the masses and current fads. The voltage exceeds the containment by a significant amount. An inner force motivates me to challenge the status quo and overthrow oppressive structures that prevent people from realizing their full potential. I transform wounds into songs of wisdom and struggles into art that ignites rebirth. When I embrace self-love, I play a role in helping the world reclaim beauty from the clutches of fear. Each bold step towards freedom Uniqueness and harmony uncovers the fleeting beauty that the world longs to express in a multitude of ways through awakened and vibrant individuals. Lesson 9. I am abundant. Saying I am abundant involves recognizing that genuine wealth comes from within, rather than relying on temporary material possessions. Our essential nature is filled with abundant spiritual gifts and potentials that surpass any worldly conquest, that surpass any worldly conquest. Abundance flourishes when we connect with the boundless wellspring of creativity, wisdom, and purpose within us. We limit the potential that life has to offer when we believe that our worth is dependent on our social standing or financial situation. We often overlook the vast potential within us that can be traded for tangible wealth. However, once we recognize the many blessings that surround us, 
our motivation is sparked, propelling us towards taking inspired action. To claim I am abundant, one must first acknowledge the resources already at hand. These include the power of imagination to create new worlds, the life force that fuels every breath, the ability of our hands to shape dreams into reality, the heart's ability to connect strangers with purpose, and the sudden bursts of inspiration that can completely transform our lives. Expressing gratitude for the privilege of being alive naturally leads to outward abundance. We are incredibly fortunate even when we have little material wealth because we possess the ability to perceive, learn, love, and leave a lasting impact. This foundation of inner spiritual abundance remains undisturbed by external factors, serving as our true cornerstone asset. When I declare I am abundant, I recognize the intricate network of blessings that silently support me at every moment, the harmonious interplay of nature's elements working together to sustain me, the symphony of minerals and microbes that bring vitality to my cells. I proudly declare my position of reverence in this richly abundant universe. I am grateful for the opportunity to witness the beauty of this world, with its vibrant colors and the awakening of consciousness in the midst of darkness. The mind can easily understand these words, and they have a wealth of meaning. I am a humble participant in the dance of reality. There is no greater abundance. True richness extends beyond material possessions and financial wealth. It is found in the intangible and limitless aspects of life. The true measure of our worth lies not in material possessions, but in the richness of our creativity, compassion, purpose, and potential. When we think that having lots of things and being prestigious is what abundance means, we limit our limitless possibilities. We often find ourselves trapped in the relentless pursuit of material possessions, seeking to fill the emptiness within us. The abundance within the inner frontier remains overlooked, despite our numerous achievements and possessions. However, as we delve deeper into ourselves, we discover the untapped treasures that were always there. The boundless potential of our imagination, our ability to create, heal, connect, and bridge gaps, and the inherent nobility of speaking honestly and using our breath for love. It's like turning ordinary connections into something extraordinary. Abundance flows effortlessly when we are aware of the preciousness of this fleeting moment in the vastness of the universe. Witnessing the connection between loved ones, as they communicate through the intricate language of atoms, is a remarkable experience that adds depth and beauty to life's unpredictable journey. Embracing the wealth within allows for a seamless expression of purpose as we trust in the universe's guidance and take inspired steps forward. Without worrying about obtaining resources, we can fully dedicate ourselves to our purpose. We empower communities by exchanging creative talents. We embrace a mindset of abundance where everyone can thrive in harmony with the environment, nurturing all forms of life. Finding true happiness lies in living with minimal attachments. When we let go of the illusion of scarcity, even the simplest things can bring abundance. We all possess the innate ability to unlock the treasures within ourselves, free from any external burdens or obligations. There is always a feast waiting just waiting to be discovered when we wake up and realize it has been right in front of us all along. Lesson 10. I am is the magic word. I am possesses a unique creative power that surpasses any other words we can utter. When combined, these two small words have the ability to completely transform the world. By harnessing the power of I am in the right way, we can guide the energy within and around us to reshape our potential we embrace our innate power as conscious creators, fully taking charge of our own existence. All physical objects originate from a vast realm of endless possibilities. They come into existence depending on what we choose to pay attention to. When we combine our thoughts and emotions, we create new realities that match our beliefs and intentions. 
Consider how a higher intelligence shapes each of our unique experiences to create the individual story we refer to as my life. The way we think and talk to ourselves influences how our minds filter information. Through the power of I am declarations, we can purposefully direct the universal flow that is expressed through us. Begin your training in this mastery by addressing your current desires. Repeat the phrase, I am relaxed, to help alleviate stress. Asserting I am healthy even when feeling unwell can help shift and realign energies. Decorate your office with the phrase, I am abundant to stay positive when bills start to pile up. Where I am adored as a shield against self-doubt. Create your future now by taking action in the present moment. By fully embracing the feeling of desired states within ourselves through I am, we can witness external validation manifesting to confirm its reality. There are frameworks that exist beyond our senses, where everything we hope for can be found. I am closes the divide. It is important to avoid relying on external authorities to solve our problems or bring us happiness. When we seek resolution from governments, bosses, romantic partners, or even God, we often find ourselves trapped in a mindset of victimhood, waiting for a final judgment. Recognizing the power within ourselves is more important than seeking external solutions or relying on a magic wand. Reaching out for help can perpetuate feelings of powerlessness and a sense of being unable to take charge. It recognizes that certain exceptional individuals have the power to influence the circumstances in my life. During times of floods or misfortunes, I rely on the possibility of receiving help from any passerby rather than using reliable sandbags to protect my shore. However, our inner divinity is always ready to be awakened, regardless of how others may react. Understanding the concept of freedom involves realizing that every individual has the power to exert control over their own lives through their intentions and level of awareness. Mantras have the power to create new realities. A strong belief in self-determination can unlock the soul's cries, which have an impact on outcomes. So, Make a commitment to never resort to begging again when faced with adversity or when your dreams are shattered prematurely. Take control of your inner world and use that power to shape the world around you. Declare your power by saying, I am, and stating the solution you want to manifest, whether it's financial freedom or restored health. Develop clear plans with strong belief. Focus your desires by embracing the present moment and using affirmations, starting with I am, to manifest them in the future. Harness the power of strong desires to drive transformation and overcome resistance. Combine your intention, attention, and surrender by asking a clear question and then assuming success with unwavering confidence. You have complete autonomy and power within yourself as the divine essence resides within your being. May the edicts of I am be proclaimed as royal decrees, ensuring unwavering obedience. Express your thoughts clearly and witness the incredible results that come from speaking with confidence and conviction. Reality always aligns with the soul's consent, which is expressed through the powerful signals of I am. Lesson 11. I am the Creator. I have the ability to shape my own destiny by believing in myself, making choices, and taking action. Although I cannot influence every situation that happens to me, I still have control over how I view and interpret challenges. My experience is a result of both conscious and unconscious mental patterns. Modern physics demonstrates that the interconnected energy and information that make up the world we think of as solid are actually subject to influence by human consciousness. Our minds have the incredible ability to transform possibilities into the world we experience every second. The way we direct our attention and perceive the world around us has a profound impact on the outcomes we experience. I constantly shape my destiny with the thoughts, words, 
and actions I choose to invest my life energy in, instead of following a predetermined path. The future's limitless possibilities provide both freedom and responsibility for those who desire to go beyond the constraints of conventional programs that dictate many people's lives. Although my childhood and past experiences have shaped me, I have the ability to transform their impact into opportunities for personal growth instead of allowing them to hold me back. Intense trauma can sometimes lead to unexpected strength and determination when combined with compassion. By taking control of my story and rewriting the next chapter, I am empowered to shape my own destiny. The mind is also responsible for the collective fates. With the increasing awareness of societal injustices and violence, there is a growing potential for the development of more compassionate systems that are initially conceived within. The issues plaguing our world can be attributed to a consciousness that has been influenced by fear, greed, and hatred. However, every individual who embraces love will experience a transformation that will shape their future. So, I use intention to manifest my desires by carefully shaping my inner world. I use the power of intention to manifest the qualities and synchronicities that I desire, starting from within. I take hold of my wasted power, shaping the future with a combination of mindfulness, action, and clarity. From now on, make a note of those areas in your life that you've been thinking about and that are causing you distress. Positive intentions and visions for fairer conditions are often hidden behind every complaint. Extract the pure ore from these minds. Maybe you desire more meaningful connections and a sense of fun in your relationships. You might feel a strong desire to break free from mundane tasks and pursue creative projects that ignite your soul. Clearly define the areas in your life that you want to see progress in regardless of how challenging or different they may appear from your current situation. This provides a clear guide on how to effectively manifest your desires through focused I am statements. If you're feeling stressed about your finances, it's important to clearly state the amount of monthly income or savings that you want to achieve. Imagine harmonious relationships, visualize improved conditions, and embrace the satisfaction of achieving your goals. Take some time each day to focus on your desired outcomes and visualize them with strong emotions. Use affirmations like I am to manifest these outcomes. Speak them confidently, infusing the words with passion and energy. Embrace these positive statements as already true, filling your nervous system with their undeniable reality. By invoking repeatedly, the inner and outer worlds collapse to reflect your claimed experience. The disciplined observer of the mind watches this process without getting attached to the timing or manner in which things unfold. It remains steadfast in its vision, nurturing intentions until they come to fruition. Ensure that your actions are consistent with the claims you make about your identity. Embrace the initial indications of manifestation. Embrace gratitude and optimism as reality aligns with your consciousness. The only task requires showing up daily to carefully nurture these seeds planted through positive I am statements. Consistency is more important than temporary bursts of intensity. Allow them to establish themselves as new neural structures until external validation catches up. Embrace your potential and take control of your life this year. Clearly state your desired outcome and witness the extraordinary events that follow. Final lesson, the magic of I am. We have completed the journey explored in the magic of I am, gaining insight into the immense creative potential encapsulated within those two small words. By affirming positive statements like I am loved, I am healed, or I am abundant, we can see how our perception of ourselves influences our reality. This happens through the continuous interaction between our thoughts and our life experiences. We can transform our lives by shifting our perspective from limiting thoughts to empowering truths. We transition from creating unconsciously based on our beliefs to purposefully crafting each moment. Regardless of one's situation, 
I am offers a way to reshape personal stories, develop new skills, attract helpful opportunities, and pursue long delayed dreams. However, becoming a master of I am necessitates regular practice and constant self awareness. We need to be aware of default programs that replay old messages, that replay old messages, that reinforce feelings of lack or victimhood. We carefully nurture the garden of our hearts and minds, planting what we want to cultivate in our thoughts, words, and actions. Continual effort is focused on distinguishing the truth of everlasting essence from temporary identities. We develop a sense of awareness to pause before reacting impulsively when challenging situations arise, reminding ourselves of our inherent ability to be creative and whole. We embrace our vision. Stay grounded in the present moment and move forward with unwavering confidence. Now, we can use these tools to create new chapters, limited only by our imagination and dedication to our craft. The potential rewards that come with patiently nurturing something are truly astounding. Through the practice of self control, every decision we make gains more power to navigate through challenges and obstacles. Leading us to experience extraordinary moments of transformation and growth. I recommend revisiting these pages whenever you have doubts or when you need reassurance. Reconnect with the power of I am until you feel completely sure. We need more individuals who can create connections to a society that is in harmony with genuine truth. May this journey bring blessings to all beings. I acknowledge and respect the inner light within you.